I'm a more teacher and an author. I wanted to thank you for joining me on my vlog today. And today we're going to touch very briefly on using social media for book promotions, marketing your book. So you either hate it or you love it. I happen to love social media activity. I get to engage with lots of people, um, authors, people who love books. I like to engage with bookstagrammers, the book talkers. Uh, basically, I get to speak about books and my books and everybody else's books on and off nearly all day long. So I have found that social media for me is an invaluable tool for helping to sell my books. I have once engaged a um, consultant of Fiverr to do book promotions for me because they have um, the availability to promote your books to literally millions of people. So on my platforms, I am across Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and I also am quite active on Goodreads, and that's where I host my blog from. So I don't have more than 5,000 followers on Instagram or on Twitter, and nor do I on Facebook. I've just actually started with Facebook, but I've already found that there's quite a lot of interest in myself and my work there, so I'm really happy with that. My greatest social media platform I have come to discover is LinkedIn. So I joined LinkedIn quite some time ago with um, working, I'm an executive assistant, and from there I managed to grow my network from just a very few followings to now over 11,000. And it's on this particular platform that I find I sell most of my books. And I get a lot more impressions on my posts and I get a lot more um, responses and sort of conversations about myself and my, my books. I find with Bookstagram, I have, there's a fantastic Bookstagrammer community and I'm really active and engaging with the Bookstagrammers there and I absolutely love it, it's fantastic. And I love all the reels and I like to put my reels out as well. I've sold a few books via the Instagram platform and I'm yet to sell across Facebook, but like I said, I've only joined it this week, so we will see over time. On Twitter, I've been engaged with the writing community. So if you're new to writing, then you should check out some of these platforms. I mean, I would highly recommend Twitter's writing community and the reading community. I've managed to sell books there, and that's what you're all interested in, really, is your engagement and your sales. And um, the other place I found that I've sold books is via Pinterest. Now, I never thought that I would, and I set it up a few years ago. And unfortunately, my account was hacked, and I lost... I had to close the account down and I had managed to get it to something like 4,000 followers, but now I've had to restart that, so it's only a few. But I would say that across all the social media platforms that I engage with, I have been making sales. I would like to say that I wish more people would leave the reviews, but I think that's just one of the banes of an author's life is that we don't get enough reviews. But LinkedIn, if you haven't tried it, is a fantastic platform to be across. So you're not just targeting people who are readers, and there's a massive uh, community of authors and writers on LinkedIn as well, and it is my preferred place to be. I find that uh, people completely outside of the author supporting authors group and the readers and writers groups on there, I find that I'm having a lot of interaction with just people outside and professional people who are generally interested in my books and my writings and what I'm up to and what I'm doing. And I get more impressions and more clicks on LinkedIn than I do anywhere else. So having said that, my top tips for engaging on social media platforms is not just always to be trying to continuously promote your books. I found that just by liking people's posts that I'm interested in and commenting on their posts, whether it's something to do with books or something to do with writing or something to do with reading or anything that you are genuinely interested in. I mean, it might be somebody's posting out a motivational tip or exercise or hair or makeup or something general about their pets. It could be about cooking. It could be about their company that they're selling brands from sheets to shoes. It doesn't really matter. Whatever is grabbing your attention, my best advice is to engage with that person's post and with that person. And also, if you see other people's comments and you're liking them, then, you know, like back on their posts. The best thing about social media and trying to reach a bigger audience is for yourself to primarily be engaged. Mm -hmm.